Today we're going to take a look at things in nature that provide inspiration, uh, provide a muse, or a starting point for a piece of art. I am a great lover of feathers. I have quite a collection. I also love to collect seashells and they make wonderful sources of drawing subject matter. They can be done in very traditional ways where the image is drawn uh, showing a great likeness. This is a graphite drawing. Here's another one. And the thing with feathers is that you can rough them up a bit. They're pretty hardy and you can get all kinds of interesting shapes that way if you want to. Um, or you can do something beyond the shape. Here's someone who has done a zentangle out of a feather. So it's a sort of feather, but not a feather. We will also, um, oh, and then you can make, uh, create a little uh, scene, a little, um, a storyline and uh, draw the feathers so that they look like they're falling. And as we've talked about in other classes, things that are uh, further away appear smaller and have more indistinct edges. And then if you have them running off the page, that also gives an appearance of um, you're standing in, in this scene here and watching the feathers fall. And this could all be done with one feather simply by holding it, I'll use this one, it's a little darker, holding it different ways. For instance, mirroring the shapes that are on this page, taking the same feather and drawing it smaller down here, drawing it even smaller here, turning it around here, and you could get this illusion of these feathers floating down in space. So to start a drawing of a feather, I would suggest, or at least the, the way I like to work, again, is there's kind of two ways. There's this uh, broken off pencil, uh, graphite, and so I would be sure I get the basic shape and where I want it to fall on the page. I'd resist the temptation of doing this, which is how we think of a feather. There's actually some wonderful angles on a feather. So I'd kind of get the main idea, get this thing coming out here, get the main idea, and then I could go in and do as much detail as I want to. Could also start it just with a, a graphite pencil like this. Again, I would go for the angles and not assume that I know what the shape of this feather is. I'd really want to scrutinize it because it may have some different things going on than I've ever realized. So that would be another way. And then again, going in and doing the detail. Uh, the same with uh, the seashell here. Again, I could start with the broken piece of graphite. First find the, the, the angle that I think is most interesting, which I think is that. And again, go for the angles. Get those down and where I want it placed on the page. Then I could go in and, and refine those angles when I look at it a little more closely and begin to get it more accurately as I see it. Take out any oops, uh, edges here that I don't feel are correct or the way I want them to look. I shouldn't say correct. There are no rights and wrongs with this. The other thing that can be fun uh, is to work on black paper. Here's a lovely drawing 
of a white feather on black paper and again could start with well I'll start with this one the colored one and again I would very carefully get down my just sort of briefly because it might be difficult to erase I don't know how oh it erases pretty well but not as much as I might like so I'm going to be careful how I put down my marks here so I know where I'm going and then I can go in and begin to get some tone down there try some brown that could be kind of interesting maybe some pink I'm gonna leave the places that are dark and let them stand on their own And again with the shell, I could do the same thing on this black paper. Uh, could make a very lovely image. We'll make a little bit of a different shape here. Or an angle, different angle of the seashell than we did with the black and the white. And then again, go in and get some tone down. The paper will take quite a bit of color, depending upon what your image is. And I'm being bold with the color here because it's black paper and I want it to show up. But that gives you an idea of the possibilities. Here's a colored pencil on white of some shells. Here's some traditional, again, it's, you can go traditional with rendering the shell. And you can even uh, do a sort of abstract, this is, this is a shell, but the way it's presented here and the, sh the angle that it sh is showing on the white paper um, just makes it look like something very uh, not earthly, a, just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shape. So there are lots of possibilities with these two items.